revelation so terrifying, you'd rather not know this is the story of Malachi Martin, a man who would risk everything to expose the truth behind one of the Catholic Church's greatest mysteries, the third secret of Fatima. Join us as we delve into the enigmatic world of this extraordinary priest and uncover the secrets that forever haunted him. The Third Secret of Fatima, one of the most intriguing mysteries of the Catholic Church. Although the Vatican revealed its contents in 2000, many believe there is much more to the story than what has been officially disclosed. This is where the incredible tale of Malachi Martin begins. An extraordinary Irish paleographer dedicated to the study of ancient biblical documents, Martin was a man of immense knowledge, with three doctorates and fluency in eight languages. At the age of 30, he became a professor at the Pontifical Biblical Institute in Rome, where he met Cardinal B, an influential figure in the Second Vatican Council. Impressed by Martin and Apo's vast knowledge of the Muslim and Jewish worlds, B chose him as his assistant. And in 1960, Martin became B and Apo's S private secretary and was granted access to the third secret of Fatima. What he saw within that secret text would have a profound impact on him, shaping the course of his life. Martin described the contents of the secret as so terrible, he and Apo's D rather not know. He was so shaken by the experience that he claimed all that we knew in terms of theology and ecumenism was a total waste of time. But there was more to Martin and Apo's S story. After leaving the priesthood, he continued to write books and speak about what he had seen in the third secret of Fatima. He fervently argued that the Vatican had not revealed the entire contents of the secret and that there was still much to discover. His conviction that the Vatican was hiding something drew media attention and made him a controversial figure in many eyes. For Martin, the third secret of Fatima was more than just a curiosity or a topic of debate, it was a vision that had marked him forever and would influence his thinking and writing for the rest of his life. In 1964, disillusioned by the direction the church had taken, Martin asked to be released from his vows to live his life independently. According to him, many within the church, including the Jesuit order, were more interested in power than in the salvation of souls. He denounced the Jesuits for supporting Marxists, particularly in liberation theology. After leaving the church, Martin moved to New York, where he began working as a successful novelist. Most of his books were inspired by his knowledge of the occult and his experience as an exorcist. But what truly captivated the public and Apo's attention were his writings about the church and the third secret of Fatima. Martin claimed that there was a missing page that the Vatican had never published, a page that would reveal the true meaning of the secret. He asserted that the secret foresaw a massive upheaval within the church. Martin passed away in 1999 under mysterious circumstances. On many occasions, he spoke about the third secret, even under a vow of secrecy about its content. Ingeniously, he would only answer and oppose, yes and oppose, or and oppose, no and oppose, if someone else broached the subject of the secret, respecting his commitment not to disclose it. In one of his last live interviews in the 90s on the Art Bell Show, in front of millions of listeners, Martin stated that there was something dreadful in the third secret. He spoke of an impending world war, followed by a great catastrophe that would lead to the death of millions. Martin staunchly believed that God would intervene with and Apo's three days of darkness and Apo's on one particularly shocking episode a listener told Martin that he had heard from a priest who claimed to have read the third secret the priest said that the final Pope would be under the control of Satan and when Pope John XEI read this he fainted convinced of his involvement in the matter Martin responded confirming that it seemed he had read the secret in 1997 Father Martin referred more specifically to that possibility, saying that we might indeed have a Pope under the influence of Satan, and in that case, we would be involved in something terrible that would test believers and destroy the faith of the majority. According to other theories, the secret revealed to Sister Lucia in 1917 during a series of apparitions of the Virgin Mary prophesied a physical punishment for nations through man-made or natural disasters on earth, in water, and in the atmosphere. 
But it seems there is also a much harsher spiritual punishment for Roman Catholics, the disappearance of faith, a period of widespread infidelity in many countries. But there and Apos, s more. The third secret also appears to indicate Russia as the new regulator of the Fatima timetable and the very birthplace of the cure for the world and Apos, s ills. The Virgin Mary spoke actively about Russia at Fatima, which lends credit to this latter theory. According to Martin, what was said in the third secret of Fatima is already happening that the church is in the midst of spreading apostasy, and a great majority of Catholics are in apostasy. Over 20 years ago, a man of faith claimed that a significant minority of cardinals, bishops, priests, and religious were in apostasy and that there was a powerful group within the Vatican that had dedicated their service to the devil. The solution, according to sources, would be the publication of the entire third secret of Fatima and the subsequent consecration of Russia by the Pope to the Immaculate Heart of Mary, involving all the bishops of the world and specifically naming Russia. Join us on this journey as we continue to explore the mysteries of faith, the secrets held within the walls of the Vatican, and the courage of individuals like Malachi Martin, who dared to question, seek the truth, and share their revelations with the world. Until next time, keep questioning, keep seeking, and always hold on to your faith. If you found this video informative and helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Also, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss an update from us.